Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For 12 years, my greatest ambition here in Congress has been my membership of judiciary and my activities of trying to bring real immigration reform that's a plus to our country. My district has two notable areas. One, the agricultural areas that so desperately need a guest worker program. The other, throughout San Diego and Orange County, the high-tech areas that in many ways rival the best in the world that in fact run out of H-1Bs on the day that they're, they're offered. So I support the STEM skills uh, reform because it's necessary. But let me just go through two or three things quickly that are so obvious here in this debate. One is people who are detractors from this say we'd love to have it, we simply want an expansion in the total number of immigrants. Let's understand, America allows more people to immigrate to our shores than the entire rest of the world combined does to theirs. We're already the most generous, and there has to be a number, and that number has been set. Secondly, it doesn't take away from anyone who has a valid need or reason to come here. It's not going to limit free reunification. It's not going to limit those who have been uh, tortured or in some other way uh, affected in their foreign country. But I think the most telling one is the CBO, our independent, nonpartisan organization that in fact has said that making this change will save over a billion dollars in cost from the dependency that many diversity candidates prove to have in spite of the regulations saying they shouldn't. And lastly, and the most important one as an employer of a high-tech company, a, a founder and employer for many years. America has to be like every high-tech company. You are always open to hire somebody who will make your company grow. America will grow in four jobs or more for each person who applies and receives one of these visas. That is about getting economy going again and jobs happening again. 